Here's another video where I will show you how to find the solution of two equations. Remember what that means. That means these equations each generate a line and I can plot the lines on the graph and I will find the intersection point of those two lines and the answer then is the coordinates of that point, the coordinates of that intersection. But this one's going to have a little twist based on uh, a little interesting fact about these two equations uh, in which we'll find out in a little bit. But just like the other video that I shot showing how to find the solution of two equations, we're going to start by graphing them. So in this equation here, this is in slope intercept form, that number right there, one third is our slope, two is our y intercept. So let's start with our y intercept of positive two. We start then on our graph, we start at the origin. We're going to go up two spaces, up the y axis, and the right there is our starting point. That's going to be the y intercept. The one place on the graph where we know this line is going to pa pass through. Where does it go from here? That's what our slope is for. Our slope is one third. Remember slope is equal to rise over run. So this line then is going to go up one unit and three units to the right. Up one, three to the right. Up one, three to the right. So let's find that on the graph. We start at two, the y-intercept. We're going to go up one and we're going to go one, two, three to the right and I will put another dot right there. So that's another point on this line. To determine the line, we only need those two points. So let me use my ruler and I will connect them with a straight line. So there it is. There is the line that goes with the equation y is equal to 1 third x plus 2. All right, let's try the next equation. The next equation is y is equal to 1 third x minus 3. So just like the first one, we start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is minus 3, so let's go on the y-axis, let's go down 1, 2, 3 to that point right there. We want down because this is a negative 3. So that's going to be our starting point. The slope is the same as the other equation. It's 1 third. Remember slope is rise over run, so we're going to go up 1 over 3 up one over three. So we start here at our y-intercept, we go up one, we go to the right, one, two, three. There is another point on our line. Use my ruler and I will connect them with a straight line. And there it is. There is the equation there's the line, I'm sorry, that goes with this equation right here. So, we're solving these two equations, and what that means is we want to find the point of intersection. Well, where do these lines cross? There's the problem. These lines are not going to cross. These are parallel lines. We can see that they don't cross. How do we know that they'll never cross maybe at some point off the edge of the graph or off this side here? We know they'll never cross because the slopes are the same. Anytime you have two equations that have the exact same slope, those are parallel lines. And by definition, parallel lines will never intersect. So if the solution is the point where two lines intersect, and these two lines don't intersect, then the answer to this one, what is the solution to these equations? The answer is no solution. So that's what you would write down as your answer, no solution. These are parallel lines, parallel lines have the same slope, so they will never cross, the answer is no solution. What if you were solving these same equations and you were going to do it algebraically? What would it look like? So here are the same two equations written on the paper right here, and what if the instructions were to solve this algebraically? you might notice right from the start, you might notice that these two equations have the same slope. Different y-intercepts, but same slope. So right there you could say, hey, these are parallel lines, uh, the solution will be, the answer will be, 
no solution. But let's say you weren't so observant. What would it look like if you actually tried to solve these? So let's go about solving this like we would any other uh, pair of equations, and we do that by setting them equal to, equal to one another. So 1 third x plus 2 is equal to 1 third x minus 3. We just set them equal to one another. And now let's get the letters on one side, the numbers on the other side. So let's get rid of this one over here. The opposite of a positive 1 third is a minus 1 third x. Whatever we do to this side of the equation, we have to do over here, minus 1 third x. On this side, they cancel out, but, oh my gosh, look over here, they cancel out over there as well. So what's left? 2 is equal to negative 3. So anytime you come down to a solution that looks like 2 is equal to negative 3, clearly that is not true. 2 does not equal negative 3. But we know there's something weird about this set of equations if it generates uh, an answer that says 2 equals negative 3. So when that is the case, let's go back and look more closely, and that's when, if you haven't noticed already, you should say, oh yeah, I should have noticed this earlier. The slopes are the same. The y-intercepts are different, but the slopes are the same, so these must be two parallel lines. And then if you wanted to verify it, you could go back and you could graph it like this to verify that for yourself. But when you get a solution like this, 2 equals negative 3, the lines are parallel, we will say no solution. So there is our answer.